When was the last time you got in a car and were ready in case of an emergency? Do like you're doing today. Get in the car and think, what would you do? Causeway officials say Tuesday's accident is a reminder about preparedness because while rare, it's almost as rare as being hit by lightning. It's possible for a driver to find themselves underwater. In the nine years I've been with the Causeway Bridge, we have had 12 overboards, which you're looking at 40,000 vehicles every day going back and forth. So what do you do? Officials say the best thing to do in a situation like this is to try and stay calm. It's probably a lot easier said than done, but they say the more the more you stay calm, the better your chances are of getting out to safety. If the door doesn't immediately open, try the windows. Power in the car will still work even though it's wet. It won't work forever, but it'll work for at least a couple of minutes. If that fails, water will rise inside, but again, don't panic. Take your time. Just try to remember as the air comes up, the water comes up, take a couple of good deep breaths of air. As it finally gets to the top, the pressure will equalize and you just open the door. Another option, breaking the side windows, not the windshield. If you've got uh, a punch, use it or even a screwdriver, high heel will work or just whack it with an elbow. It's amazing what kind of strength we humans have when we need it. Once an escape is found, remove your seatbelt and get out. We're going to all naturally float. It's a scary situation where seconds feel like minutes, but officials say a good outcome is possible as long as the person knows their options. Try to be calm, take care of everybody around you, and you'll be on the surface like that, and we'll be there to pick you up uh, within a minute or two. Well, the causeway accident from this morning is still under investigation, but a bit officials say that the driver did do a good job. Once he was in the water, he got his passengers out first. He found a way out of the truck once it hit the bottom of the Lake Pont of the bottom of Lake Pontchartrain, and then uh, he was able to surface safely. And remarkably, uh, nobody was hurt in this incident. Reporting live, Jay Cunningham, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Jade. I feel better just knowing all of that.